Well, this is Connie Podesta, and how many times have you wished that you had someone to talk to about your problems? Well, your wish has been answered. Here I am, your in-house, in-your-face therapist, Connie Podesta, and I'm coming right into your home to give you the kind of straightforward answers to the questions that you've been dying to ask. So, we have on the phone right now our caller, Christy. Christy, hello. Hello. <laughs> well, you sound happy. How are you doing? I'm okay. Okay. Well, what I see here, Christy, is, let me get this right, some family member kind of hurt your feelings. Is that about sum it up? Yeah, a little over a year ago, um, my aunt said some things that were really hurtful. Okay. And, and since then, I really won't have much to do with her. Okay. This really bothers my mom. My mother wants me to go to my aunt and say, you Wait, 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 me. Let, me, let me ask you a question, just a second here. Is this your mom's sister? Yes. Okay, so... Your mom has kind of a vested interest in this, right? This is her sister yeah. and her daughter. So this is, yeah. and this happened a year ago. And before we do any more, and, and, I, and I, I kind of need to know what kind of hurtful things, because this is going to help me, hurtful things about your personality. Uh, can you give us kind of an idea of what she said? She compared me to my biological dad, who is a really rotten person. Okay. So and she... she said, you're like him. And, and what did she mean by that? Give me the traits that she was referring to. Um, I think just irresponsibility. Um, okay. And let me ask you, I mean, you don't live with your aunt. Are you in your 30s, or how old are you? Yes. Um, she, she's my mother's oldest sister. Um, when I first moved back to the area, I did live with her for a while, until I found a place to live. Okay. She's always been very involved. Okay. So you lived with your aunt. She took care of you. She helped you out. And something ticked her off. She didn't like something about the situation. So you and her have a phone call, and she tells you that you're irresponsible, and she, you know, kind of hits below the belt and, and says something that she absolutely knows is going to hurt you the most and compares you to your biological dad. Now, I'm saying, if you're saying biological dad, you're obviously not too close to him. Is that correct? Yeah, I haven't seen him since I was six years old. Okay. So what she did is what, and it not it terrible, folks, that we do this to the people that we, quote, love the most? We always know with the people that we love the most, Christy, we know exactly what to say to them that will blow them away because we have all this little inside information. And what your aunt did right now, and maybe she had some, we're not even going to judge here, maybe she had some valid points. Maybe you were a little irresponsible, maybe you weren't. But the mistake she made and, and what she did that is so wrong and what I want all of us to learn from that are watching this is there's a way to tell someone something, and then there's a way to what I call hit below the belt and go beyond the boundaries. And she had a piece of information, Christy, about you that very few people would know, and that is that you're very saddened by your biological dad. You haven't had much to do with him. It probably hurts you to even think about him. So she pulled this weapon of <laughs> this arsenal out, right? and kind of bombarded you with the one thing that hurt you the most. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Now, would, now let's be real honest here. Would it be safe to say that maybe partly what she's saying about you being irresponsible, was there a little truth to anything she was saying? Forget the dad part, just what she was saying. Probably, yeah. Okay, so you can be a little irresponsible, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so she had some valid points, correct? Okay. Okay. And, well, you're being kind of, did she or not? I mean, was she just totally lying and totally off base, or did she have a couple of valid points? She does. Okay. But, I mean, No, 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 wasn't... not but. Let's just stay there. I, I re so she had a couple of valid points. What she, the hurtful part, I think, Christy, is not if she had called you and said, Christy, you're my niece, and I love you a lot, and my goodness, you can certainly be irresponsible sometimes, and you need to get your act together, and you need to be a little more organized or whatever. That you could have had a decent conversation with, okay? Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What you heard about Christy is that she pulled out something to use against you that is one of the few things in your life probably that just hurt you the most. All right. So she betrayed your trust of confidence. In other words, she pulled out some pieces of knowledge. And, 
And, and I want us all to think about this. When we're in a family and we have a spouse or we have a child or we have a mom or we have a dad or in this case we have a niece, we know things about our family. We, we know what hurts them. We know what they're afraid of. We know what scares them to death. We know what they'll never do. And those are the things that when we cross the line and we pull that piece of information out, that person is never, ever going to forgive or forget. And isn't that about what's happened, Christy? It's hard for you to forgive or forget that she did that one thing. Right. Okay. So a year has gone by. What have you done? Did you call her up like a grown-up and tell her that you can't believe she said that and that was really unacceptable and she owes you an apology? No. Oh, you're I, waiting for her to do it, aren't you? I didn't break this. She did. I know. But you certainly, you certainly have a right. Here's what I would do, Christy. Forget the year. You're right. If she's wrong, I would definitely call her on the phone or write her a little note and say, you're my aunt. We've had a lot of things together in the past. I appreciate what you've done, but you did something wrong. Maybe I'm irresponsible. You hit me and hurt me with a really hard piece of information, and I really think you owe me an apology, and I want you to do that, Christy. I'm heading to a break.